Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a new tutorial of how to make a wheeled vehicle and how to make this monster. So stay until the end of the video so I can show you that. So let's say you have your hole like this. I just uh, made this hole for this uh, the video and you have your tracks uh, like this. So I'm going to start by changing uh, the wheels. Okay, we are the wheels, yeah. There we go, road wheels, and we choose those, okay, and I will remove the return rollers, and I will make the wheels bigger, like this, for example, maybe a little bit big, okay, for this example, I'm just gonna uh, fit the hole so I'm gonna make it uh, with the grouping we'll uh, put three together and this one in uh, the front we'll do this and I will show you how to hide this make it very small so it will not be visible so for now we're just get, gonna put it here i will put uh, the sprocket also higher like this and later it's not gonna be uh, visible let me just put this one smaller yes and put it over here so now i can ma make more spacing where is that? Spacing over here, like this. Okay, and now I go to compartments and I used grease snap to make a, a compartment. So I'm gonna use grease snap five centimeter because I used uh, five centimeter and I put it down to almost reach the wheels. You can see it here. Mm -hmm. looks good so now what I'm gonna do is make it disappear the tracks this is all about the tracks so before I do that I'm just gonna um, make the wheels a li little bit larger wider yeah there we go that looks okay I can even put one wheel maybe I put it larger but okay I'm gonna just leave two leave it like this and I save my tank after you save I save the number seven after you save you go to your uh, documents and you open your file with notepad plus plus I recommend this app because uh, it looks very organized you, you will be it will be very easier for you so I have my tank uh, blueprint and you look for TRK here which is tracks and they put uh, my cursor over here and they go until the end of this line which is data you go to the data line you go to all the end and in at the end you, you will see X X Y um, Z. This is the informations of the tracks. I, um, if I remember, this is the the white, or this is the white. We put on the screen what every uh, information is. But for now, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna edit those. So I find out another way to just delete and make the tracks invisible without. Uh, touching the, the tracks so what interests me is the segment ID and this is the ID of the segment which are the tracks for example we put A or ID B or whatever you want to put here it doesn't matter as long as it's an ID that the game doesn't recognize so I put whatever I want and they save it we go to the game go back to the game and we reload our blueprint and boom everything is gone but you notice now it's floating because 
the tracks are actually invisible i can edit it over here and you can see it's moving because this is the thickness of the belt of the tracks so here some people maybe will not care at all if it's just like that it's not very visible but if you want to put it like smaller because here i have 50 millimeter which is five centimeters so i have five centimeter over here if i'm not wrong it's a thickness of five centimeter if you want to put it one centimeter or less let's go do this so here we have the thickness of the track it's the y so i have here the 50 uh, millimeter and for example i'll put 0 0.001 and save it and reload my tank and boom you have it very very close to the 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 floor which is to the ground which is uh, seems like the, the smallest thing i can do so you can see this is very now very easy to edit it and i hope you enjoy this method this new method they have discovered i don't know if others have done this but i was having some time lately and i was checking things and uh, yeah i discovered this way it's much better with than changing all this information that make it very small and thin so what we're gonna do now is make this adler smaller make this wheel smaller and hide it first of all i'm just gonna move it uh, a little bit down like this mm -hmm. and uh, make a separation just go a little bit inside like this and you can notice also the sprocket uh, is also hidden about the sprocket i don't recognize to make i don't rec recommend to put to make it smaller because it's gonna affect the speed of the tank now the size of sprocket matters so what i recommend you if you want to hide it is to hide it inside the freeform uh, hole i can edit the hole if i want and just cover this side like this and make it uh hidden where is the pro sprocket hold on i just put it like this yeah it looks okay and just i can hide it but i will not hide it right now what's more important is to hide this a little bit inside okay this looks good i saved my tank and let's go make this wheel smaller so now how to make how to find the wheels very easily you click on control f and you research wheel, wheel id and you go the first one is the sprocket and you go again and the second is the idler or idler i don't know how to pronounce that and this is also the id i'm gonna show you later what to do with that so this is the information i can change about the spacing and what interests me is th this the size the size of it so i'm gonna put just 0 0.001 and save it and let's go reload our tank and boom it's very small it's not visible and i, I can show it uh, over here it's very small like it's nothing it's very nothing like all right now you can hide this and this pocket you can hide it uh, in the free form i recommend that and there we go you have your wheeled vehicle and it doesn't lose any uh, any speed or something like that so it looks very well and they have also noticed even if you edit the belt thickness and uh, all this it doesn't change anything uh, i didn't notice that in the last updates but it seems like the tracks doesn't really matter anymore but i prefer this method maybe in the future uh, we will have another update about the tracks being uh, more important so i recommend to make them invisible instead of make them very small so 
Now I'm gonna show you how to make that monster wheels. Let's go. So you can see here the sprocket. I can change the, the sprocket. Uh, where is that? Is oh yeah, over here. So we have like three uh, wheels for the sprocket. I have this, this, and that. Okay, let me just make it visible so I can see the different designs. You can see this one looks very cool. This and this. I think this one would be like very cool to make to make it over here. Like make all the wheels look like this one. So what I'm gonna do is just bring put this back. Where is that? Oh uh, yeah, sprocket. Put back this and save your tank. I save it. And let's go back to our uh, files, our blueprint, and go back over here. And as I said, you research wheel ID, find text. And the first one is the sprocket. So this is the wheel ID. So I'm just cop copy this, control C, and go back, find another wheel ID. The second is the Edler, and the third is are the uh, road wheels so there we go this is the road wheels id so i'm gonna select it and copy past that id of the, of the sprocket and you save your blueprint and we go back to the tank in game and we reload, we reload our tank and there we go you have your crazy tank crazy monster tank i like it I like it this way and actually I saved my tank and save it actually even I, I want to see it with uh, tracks I didn't see it with tracks with tracks yet I'm ch what's gonna happen I'm changing the tracks but it doesn't change oh the tracks are not visible oh yeah yeah I forgot I forgot this one I forgot that I make it too small I'm gonna put the tracks. Doesn't look good. <laughs> it looks very weird, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks horrible. But I think uh, if you make a tank, not a road wheel, uh, not a uh, wheeled vehicle, it would look very cool. Let's uh, test the tank. Where is that? I need the uh, crew member. Yeah, let's go. Hold on, I'll give it a good engine. Yeah, heavy. Okay. <laughs> there we go. There we go. It's very fast. It's very good. And it looks very cool with this sprocket. <laughs> this is a sprocket tank. So this is uh, the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and comment also. Say anything <laughs> you want. Because I need to. I need your boost guys to. So the YouTube will share my videos because. I'm strong, struggling to to get the algorithm share my videos. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you next time. Take care.